I'm a pharmacist, a recent graduate, and I'm going to tell you what happens during your pharmacy school during year number one. Time studying. Not much. Coursework should all be review material from college. You're going to be learning about common over-the-counter prescription, drugs, where you learn the brand and the generic names, common mechanisms of actions, and simple college classes like molecular and cell biology, biochemistry, pharmacy calculations. You are a pharmacy technician. This should be the easiest year of your freaking life. So your goal in year one, figure out what type of pharmacist you want to be, whether that be retail, hospital, industry, ambulatory career. You can even work from home. So you want to find a job in that field because experience matters the most once you graduate and you're out looking for the job. That why That's why networking gives you the most job offers. That's why your number one goal, find an intern job while you're still in school. In terms of clubs and organizations. So, the upperclassmen, they're gonna try to recruit you. So, personally for my school, during your lunch break, they came in and they give you like a presentation but in exchange, they're going to give you food. So you should list. So in exchange for listening to their presentation, they give you food. I personally don't feel like uh, clubs help you that much because I really think they just want your membership fee. Oh, can they help you in networking? Eh, maybe very little, but I wouldn't bank on it. Whereas your goal should be first to get an intern job. I feel like that's more important. Can't get an intern job. Volunteering is probably the second best thing you can do. Fraternities, best time to join, first year. I mean, obviously you can join also second and third year, but first year, it's the most, I think it's the best because you're going to be pledging with the most of your own classmates. And also there are like activities that are required by the fraternity that take up so much of your time. So that's why first year is like the most best time to do it. Also, your classes are going to be super easy like, you don't even need much studying. So you have more time for both fraternity and school. Socially, what's going to happen? Girls are going to be talking privately which boys are single. Vice versa, the guys are going to be talking which girls are single. They're going to be picking up on the, like, the littlest thing ever in the casual conversation. Like, oh, what do you do when you go home? Oh, like, see my girlfriend. Why don't you say that word girlfriend and a boyfriend? Instantly, that person's gonna tell other people. They're gonna know your relationship status like right away. You're gonna be seeing the same people every day in the exact same time for the next three years. This is unlike all your previous education before. You're gonna see the exact same people. So also, everyone's gonna be Facebook friending everyone. There's gonna be Facebook groups for entire class. People are gonna find out who the smartest people are based on like where you went to college, undergrad, all your experience, like where you worked before. Thinking about board exams, I get this question a lot. I always tell people, just ignore it, who cares? I mean, you should be focusing on board exams because first off, you have no idea how the format of the information is going to be the same or different after you graduate. It should be completely different. Uh, I'm going to be talking about more of these YouTube videos, so like and subscribe.